ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie Digest. Today we are looking at Smugglers 5. This is the fifth game in the Smugglers series by Niels Bauer Games. And it is currently available on GOG, that's good old games, for $9.99. I'm not entirely sure what that is in pounds, which is annoying because that's the currency I should use, but yeah, what are you going to do? This is a spaceship. Uh, space ex exploration and fighting RPG sort of game, kinda. I don't know. Uh, it's uh, it's interesting. It's old. I used to love. I think it was Smugglers two or three. One of the, those when I was very young. This is pretty much the same, but with a tiny bit more in it. So it doesn't bode well if you already own one of the Smuggler series. But let's have a look. So let's start again. There are four factions to begin with, and later in the game, apparently in this version, you can create your own faction. But that's much later in the game. You need to be able to fight the others to do that. So you know, four factions: the Federation, the you know the the, the big powerful people, the Outer Alliance, the Rebels that say the Federation is actually secretly evil, the Coalition, which are just a bunch of traders that for some reason feel the need to fight, and the Syndicate, which are the pirate sort of faction that are also like a whole faction that can fight the federation let's go for the outer rim alliance shall we let's, let's be the rebels so let's be ding skywalker and let's yeah that's derpy enough for uh <laughs> for ding skywalker let's go Okay, six professions that change the combat abilities and the non-combat abilities in the starting ship. There is Fleet Trader, which is part of the, which is like sort of a, an official navy thing, navy trader. And there's the free trader who can go anywhere and do whatever he wants. The fl fleet officer, which is like the an officer in the military, a bounty hunter, obviously a dude on his own, smuggler, evil, pirate, evil. Let's go bounty hunter, I think. Show off a bit of the combat. I won't show the trading, but please note that the trading is perfectly good as far as I know and smuggling is probably very interesting because there's all sorts of things you can do about that so anyway this is the main screen I'm just noticing how actually small it is looking over at XSplit but I'm not entirely sure how this game is made but it it's a bit it's a bit weird I'm gonna I'm gonna admit I'm not sure what engine this is but it's a it is a little odd anyway this is my ship. This is a Stargun fighter. It has 8cm laser cannons, Mark 1 arrow missiles, defend Mark 1 ECM, which is for shooting down missiles, quick lock Mark 1 targeting system, and a traveler Mark 1 shields and engines, which apparently all goes into one for some reason, I don't know. And the cargo bay is just a cargo bay right now. It is valued at $14,583, it has max action points of 520 uh, cargo space, so I won't be doing much cargo. And its special ability is Energy Transmitter. These high-grade and state-of-the-art energy transmitters increase your gun damage by 100% while activated. That's really good. I'm, it doesn't say here, but I imagine that takes a lot of my AP to do, so... Yeah. Uh, crew of zero is a fighter, doesn't need a crew. And that's about it. So, we are here, we are in the Heraxon system. Yep, the Heraxon 7, apparently we're in, and we're at Planet Heraxon. So these three make up the... Oh no, these these four make up the Outer Rim system. And then these ones are the Federation, and these ones are the Syndicate, and these ones are the Coalition. And then from here you can see, like, prices and this place and you can see prices in other places you can so you know you can do trade and stuff there if i think you have to go there to understand it and you can press info so the Syria sector is a major military fortress similar to the magnot line during the second world war it is also the industrial heart of the federation it's commonly believed that the federation could abandon the soul system but not Sirius. so apparently the federation uh, is in soul which is like earth and saturn and all that but apparently they prefer Sirius. so mm. what are you gonna do Anyway, this is the thing. This is the first system we start in. I don't know if we actually have like interstellar engines. So I'm not sure if we can even go through the the wormholes. I remember you used to not be able to. We'll see later. Let's go to the ghost ship. This is a random event that's just popped up. There's also a war going on. We'll not deal with that. 
Uh, the ghost ship had some cargo that had some to be sold on. Excellent. Great, nice little thing. So what else can we do? We can uh, buy things, we're not going to do that. We can scan and just like pick something that's close by and fight it, there's bounties on. Or we can take missions. Let's take a mission. Let us start with a nice simple patrol, shall we? So we select the mission and it tells us where to go. And we've encountered a coalition star gun, so we have to fight it. This is the combat screen. This is our ship. This is their ship. This indicates that we have reinforcements on the way in eight turns. They do not have reinforcements. And these are the various things. These are the action points. This is the shield. So attacking takes two. Doubling the damage takes two and probably lasts for a few turns. So it doesn't actually say anywhere. And we have a few other abilities such as scattergun that does... Ooh, that can hit and hit missiles at the same time. That's quite useful. Ace, which does uh, the, the high hit chance. Tractor beam. Stop them escaping. And a target lock, which increases firing solution. So let's do that. Put a target lock on them. Let's double the damage. And let's shoot them. We miss. So they take their turn. All the effects that uh, happen are up here. I'm not even sure if you can see them on the... Yeah, you can see them on the video, but... You won't be able to see what they actually do, you have to click on them to know what they do. Uh, actually, what's he done? Oh, he's done the double damage and target lock and a taunt, which uh, decreases our hit chance. So, we both still have... We have all of our things on. Shoot him. 28 points of damage, that's a good amount. How much did he shoot a missile? Four? No, uh, we can't do that. Shoot him again. He's fired a missile. This means it will be here in one turn, that is because we are at close range. If we backed off, which I don't think we have a button for, but some ships do, it would take longer for the missile to reach us. We used our ECM, it stopped it. That is very good. Just shoot him. And can we do any of these things? Nope. One AP is not enough to do much. Okay, special ability warlock, we can still shoot him for this less damage. Target lock dropped, put that on, shoot him, blow him up, get experience points, get money. Experience points are down here, fall to the next level. And we've got the first half point. As a pirate in our way, so we start shooting them. Oh my. Hey, that worked. Um, yeah, shoot him. Double the damage, shoot him. He's doing things. Um, keep shooting. That's will probably do it. Excellent. Defense of Scotland's campaign ribbon. Probably the Outer Rim Alliance counts as Scotland. Maybe it's more like the UK. I'm not sure. Second nav point. So let's quickly go to the ghost ship because they usually have money on. Oh dear, more fighting. I have to say, the fighting this early in the game is very uninteresting. But later on, you get a few more skills and abilities, and it becomes a little more interesting, but not that much more, if I'm honest. Yeah, if I'm completely honest. I mean, frankly, this entire game, it's not. It's not like it has a massive amount of depth to it. It does have a little more later on, and if you did trading, maybe that's a bit more... You know, you have to do a bit more stuff, but... To be honest, it's mostly just kind of nice to do. It's one of those games where it's just kind of fun just to go around and do all the things. I mean, th there's stuff to do. Uh, oh dear, uh, you, you can buy ships, like, I've currently got one of these, a Stargun class, but I could upgrade to... No, no. No, never mind, this is the best fighter class, but I could upgrade to a Corvette later on. This is very expensive right now. It cost me 110,000 just to get the Shadow Cat, which is the smallest Corvette. Or the Thug, which is a bit bigger. And then later on you get these big destroyers, and then even later on you can get these massive cruisers. And then even later on you can get massive, massive battleships, which you have to be a fleet officer for, and have to, like, become really, really tough. And then carriers? Apparently you can also get, so there's a, there's a fair way to go, and by the time you've gone through all the things, I mean, there's a lot to do. Uh, I was about to visit the government, apparently I can't. I'm going to visit the bank, uh, 
I think by war bonds aids the war effort, so that's how traders sort of influence the war, I think. You get, you get loans as well. Uh, new ship equipment. Let's upgrade the lasers to... What do I have the money for? 25,000? Particles. Oh, shoot the particles. Particles are very dangerous. Most people don't realise this. All particles are absolutely deadly. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, spaceport bar. Order a drink. They'll tell us something. You can hire crewmen like robots. Actually, no, you can't buy robots. You have to capture them. You can buy space marines. So, you know, all good. And you can retire. Don't want to. Company, uh, you have to be a merchant for that, I suppose, in order to get a company. And you can explore the planet and... Uh, ooh, uh, hold on. As you wander through the starport, your eye catches a lot of posters announcing a talk by the local sex chief evan evangelist. Mm, not sure if that's how you pronounce that. Out of curiosity, and because of the absolute lack of alcohol or any other pleasures on the whole planet, you decide to go and listen. For two hours, he talks about the upcoming end of the universe and the holy duty of all Hellurians to hasten the end by committing unnecessary acts of violence and destruction. While leaving, you are handed a form for you to officially sign up as a member of the sect. Well, I don't want to live very long anyway, let's join. You remember about the day in your childhood when you tried what your dad taught you about disemboweling hunted animals on the teddy of the silly, ugly kid in nursery school. The evangelist is right. Destruction is the only way to heaven. As you return to the ship, you feel the need to commit unprovoked acts of violence. You now have the plunder ability at your disposal. You can attempt to raid and plunder planets to gain tremendous riches, damage economy, and to influence the outcome of a battle for this system. Oh dear, right, uh, that's not, um, hmm. interesting. So apparently we now have the, where is it? Should be here somewhere. Track to be, no, no. Okay, I have no idea where it actually is. Should be here somewhere, the plunder ability, but I don't know, maybe it's somewhere else. Either way, apparently we are now a horrible evil person who can destroy things for you know, all good reasons. Where's the, where's the plunder button? I wonder, I wonder, can I not plunder my own territory, maybe? I probably cannot. That's the button here. No. No. Yeah, Alright, whatever. Well, that's the thing. Ooh, let's go to the pirates. I'm gonna chat with them before we end. Oh, my God. Anyway, just, just please be dead. I plead to be dead. Well, that missile's gonna hit me. Um, damn. Double the damage. Scatter gun. Hey, that worked. I believe it worked. Actually, I'd rather like this gun. The, the, this, the ship. That scatter gun is very useful. Or is it? That's actually probably a class skill. But you know, whatever. Anyway, pirate outposts. You can apparently buy them. You can borrow money from them. I think you can attack the pirate outpost. Probably won't do that. You can encourage illegal activities to get things, you can explore it. Do you want 100,000 credits for security? What's, what's, hold on. I'll skip, skip, like $10, whatever. Asteroid B in the land's end system. Alright, let's go there. How far is that? On away, let's go. He's going to murder us. Ah, and fighter class spaceships do not have the required jump engines to use wormholes. You need to buy a bigger ship, at least a corvette, to leave this star system. And there you have it. That is probably going to have to be the end, because I can obviously not afford a um, a corvette class ship. They are very, very expensive, at least 100,000, that absolute minimum. I can't afford that, so I'm not going to, so we're going to have to call this a day. I suppose. Uh, thank you for watching. Ooh, another ribbon. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you next time.